Hello, happy and smart developers. Welcome to the coding board. This is series of UI technologies and today we are going to learn HTML form in depth. So let's begin the session. Using opening and closing form tag, we can create HTML form. With the help of opening form and closing tag, we can design form in HTML file. We have action attribute of form. We have action attribute in HTML form. The action attribute defines the action to be performed when the form is submitted. If you leave it blank, it will send it to the same file. Okay. Now, form action is equals to value. Okay. This is the syntax of action attribute of form. Let's move on. Method attribute. We have method attribute which is used to define the HTTP method of the form which is either get or post. What is get method? What is post? That I will explain when we will learn Django okay now uploading files how to upload files into the server images and files can be uploaded or we can say submitted to server by setting end type attribute of form tag to multi-part form data okay multi-part forward slash form hyphen data Let's understand this with practical example. This is basic structure of HTML document. We have opening HTML, then we have head section with title tag, then we have body opening and closing, then HTML closing. Okay. Now in body section, we can take form tag. opening and form tag closing in form we can write our input control elements input type is equals to text okay placeholder is equals to enter name and id is equals to name okay then similarly we can have another input control element saying enter your last name okay id is last l name then we can have input control element with number type enter id okay enter id id is the value of id attribute now let's take submit button input type is equals to submit value is equals to submit okay and name or we can say id is equals to sbmt submit let's check the output save the code with html form dot html and execute in browser in browser let's observe the output carefully what is happening three input fields are there excluding submit button name is Mosin. last name is bangi and id is one two three observe here carefully what is happening where in URL bar 
after clicking on submit button is, is there any action one two three click no there is no any action after clicking on submit button so we must specify what action to be performed after submitting the form for that reason what i will do in form action is equals to hash okay so let's save the code and refresh let me open in new window so here is our form and I have entered my data and clicking on submit button what is happening once I clicking on submit button observe here carefully okay one two and three click some action is happened correct after submitting form some action is ha happened here here correct so what action happened hash so I have redirected to this file as I am not ha having any ready-made file available that's why I have mentioned only hash okay but when we will learn Django there I will show how one page redirect from one page to another after submission okay now suppose if we want to upload files into the server what we can do we should use HTTP method using method attribute its value can be either get or post what is get and post method that I will explain in Django series okay and now uh, we have to take enc type enc type is equals to in enc type what we have we have multi part forward slash then we have form hyphen data this is the value now what I am doing I am using input type is equals to file okay see here input type is equals to file placeholder no I don't need placeholder now ID is FN okay now save the code and let me refresh so here we have choose file option in our form so what I am doing I am mentioning my details no scene Bangi and choose file. I am selecting file 1. So it is telling file 1 dot text is the selected file. ID is 1, 2, 3. Then as soon as I click on submit button with the help of HTTP method and end type attribute, my file will be uploaded in server click okay so now file is uploaded in server but as this is not real time example that's why what action is happening action is only this one hash okay i will explain this practical example with real time scenario in django series but here we need to understand how to upload file in server that I have shown what we have to do in form opening tag we have to make use of HTTP method that can be either get or post then we have to make use of end type attribute okay now let's move on grouping of input field 
while designing a form we might like to group a few input fields into a group to help organize the form layout so to organize form layout what i will have to do i will have to make use of field set attribute okay field set opening field set closing and in field set we have our all the attributes okay and then in fill set we have to make use of legend tag that we will uh, in uh, use later okay i just now just create particular layout of form so here enter name last name let me remove here remaining two input elements so that we can find difference save the code and let me refresh observe carefully what is happening here we have two forms sorry i mean to say in one form we have two group of elements okay observe this is one and this is two here we have form submission button okay so with the help of legend tag we can give description about these sections for that what we need to do we need to make use of legend tag legend opening and then we have legend closing and here we have section 1 then similarly here we have legend opening and then we have legend closing and here we have section Save the code and refresh. Let me adjust the size for better understanding. See, with the help of legend tag, what we have done, we have made use of this descriptions, section one and section two for different group of input element. Okay, so in this way we can group. different sections of form separately with the help of field set attribute okay so what we have learned today we have learned what is form we have learned how to submit file or upload document into the server what attributes we have used we have used method attribute we have used eng type attribute correct and then finally we have understand how to group input elements to organize layout of form with the help of field set tag of html okay so that's it in this session let's meet in another session thank you